Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And welcome to everybody here at the Church of Jesus the Living Water in La Mode, Our Lady Help of Christians Parish, Bolio St. George's. And a very, very special welcome to all joining us on all the other platforms, Good News Catholic Radio, um, Channel 30 on Grenada Television, and Facebook and all the other ways in which you may be with us, even though far apart from us physically. Our Mass today is specially offered for the repose of the souls of Martin and Eldika Guy, rest in peace, as requested by Bernadette Guy. So as we always do, we take a few moments to call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God, 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Restorer and lover of innocence, direct the hearts of your servants towards yourself, that those you have set free from the darkness of unbelief may never stray from the light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now, in the early church, in the very early days when the first non-Jewish people began to join the very strict Jewish um, Christians um, began to say that the Gentiles had to become Jews keeping the being circumcised and keeping all the mosaic laws about food and all the rest of it and that was a very serious question because Paul especially was maintaining, no, salvation is not through um, observing the Mosaic law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. And that very serious division arose within the church. And it had to be resolved, and it was resolved, by a coming together of all the leadership of the church, together at a council in Jerusalem. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some men came down from Judea and taught the brothers, unless you have yourselves circumcised in the tradition of Moses, you cannot be saved. This led to disagreement. And after Peter, Paul, and Barnabas had a long argument with these men, it was arranged that Paul and Barnabas and others of the church should go up to Jerusalem and discuss the problem with the apostles and elders. All the members of the church saw them off. And as they passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, they told how the pagans had been converted and this news was received with the greatest satisfaction by the brothers. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and by the apostles and elders and gave an account of all that God had done with them. But certain members of the Pharisees' party who had become believers, objected, insisting that the pagans should be circumcised and instructed to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and elders met to look into the matter. The word of the Lord. The response, I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. 
I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There was set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. Alle, alle, alle. the good shepherd says the Lord I know my sheep and my own know me Alle, alle, alle. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch that bears no fruit, he cuts away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes to make it bear even more. You are pruned already by means of the word that I have spoken to you. Make your home in me as I make mine in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit all by itself, but must remain part of the vine, neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me with me in him bears fruit in plenty. For cut off from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is like a branch that has been thrown away. He withers. These branches are collected and thrown on the fire, and they are burnt. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask what you will, and you shall get it. It is to the glory of my Father that you should bear much fruit, and then you will be my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. So that Gospel passage, those words, those things that Jesus said to his apostles were said at the Last Supper, that last togetherness, that last meal that Jesus and the disciples ate together. It was a solemn occasion Jesus knew that was the last time he was going to be with them like that before his suffering and death. And he wanted to make sure that they remained united among themselves and that they remained one with him, that they didn't become discouraged by the events that were going to happen. And especially that they didn't become discouraged or dispirited or dejected or divided by the fact that they themselves were going to desert him and betray him and deny him. So he spoke about that image of the vine. He said, I am the vine, you are the branches. And you know, when you consider the a tree or the vine that produces the lovely grapes that we get, especially we treat ourselves to at Christmas time, um, we think of the roots of the vine deep in the soil and then the stem of the vine the stem the roots tapping into the source of nutrition of life and then the sap passing up through the stem of the vine through the trunk of the vine into the branches and the leaves and producing the fruit and this is what jesus says that 
that he is the vine, that that flow of life and love from the Father to us comes through him. And we must remain united with him. And he, you know, he says that um, the, the, the branch that bears no fruit is pruned. And that's one thing that, um, that the, in those countries that produce a lot of grapes and a lot of wine, um, there comes a time when they have to cut off the, the shoots and the little branches that are unproductive in order that the fullness of the sap, the fullness of the nutrition from the earth will pass into the ones that are productive and produce grapes in abundance. And that's what God wants. That's, that's the whole purpose of this is that God wants us to be united with Christ so that we may be productive, so that we can produce the fruit that, that he wants. And the fruit that he wants is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But in order, to, in order to produce that fruit, quality fruit in abundance, pruning has to take place in our lives. And the pruning is cutting away whatever is not productive, whatever is, is um, hindering the production of the best quality fruit. So that may be habits that we have, or ways of speaking, or attitudes that we have that are contrary to the attitude of Jesus Christ, or relationships that may not be healthy, relationships that may, may be um, leading us away from God in contravention, breaking, not pleasing to God, but leading us in the wrong direction away from God. Or it may be whatever it is. It may be uh, especially perhaps attitudes that we may have that are not, not conducive to, to, to goodness and kindness and faithfulness and gentleness. And you know, fruits, when you have a, um, a very productive fruit tree, maybe oranges or mangoes or pawpaws or whatever it may be, um, you get your fruit and you enjoy your fruit. So the fruits are meant to be enjoyed, first of all, by oneself. You enjoy the fruits of your fruit tree and enjoy it to the full. But if the fruit tree is very productive, then you have plenty to share. And it's wonderful to share that fruit with others. You know, when I'm always so happy when people come with uh, and, and say, Father, here's some, some fruit, some bananas, or papa, or some oranges, or mangoes. And um, I'm always so happy to share those fruits and to, to enjoy those fruits that have been shared with me. And that's our task as Christians, to produce those fruits in abundance, quality fruit, to, and to have, to enjoy in our own lives, and to share with others. But there's just another factor I'd like to, another point I'd like to make, we must remember that Jesus said, I came that they may have life and have it to the full. And that's what Jesus wants for all of us. He wants us to have that life and to have it to the full. He, he doesn't want us to, he doesn't want any of his followers to be going around dejected, going around with anger, with resentment, with bitterness, or the rest of it. He wants us to to enjoy that fullness of life, that fullness of life and love that comes through him from the Father, the source of all life. And there's just one last little point that I'd like to make. Jesus was encouraging his disciples because he knew that they were going to desert him and deny him and Judas even betray him. And he didn't want them to become so discouraged by that that they felt they were useless or that they couldn't come back. And so he wanted them to remain in him. He said, remain in me. In fact, in that translation that we had here this morning, he uses the word, the, the word is remain. But in other translations, the word abide is used. And abide means to live, to stay, to live. It's where, where do you live? Where do you stay? Abide in me. Let me live with you, in you. And that's something that we should be aware of, that if we stay close to Jesus and we facilitate that flow of life and love by associating with him, by talking to him in prayer, by spending quality time with him in prayer, 
by listening to his word and taking his word seriously and letting it affect our not only our minds but our hearts and our our whole our whole way of living then truly we will remain with him and it's when we remain with him that we have that fullness of life and that fullness of love and we produce that abundance of quality fruit in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen let us stand now please for the prayers of intercession The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Heavenly Father, we have listened to your word. And we know that you are the source of all life and all love. And that that source, that flow of life and love comes to us through your son, Jesus. Lord, help us to be branches that are securely fastened, securely growing on the vine, producing the fruit that you want. Lord, hear us. Lord, we thank you for the abundance of good things that we enjoy here in Grenada, especially the fruits of the earth. We thank you for all that you have blessed us with. And we ask you to help us that we may never take the good things that we enjoy every day for granted, but that we may appreciate that everything is a gift from you. Lord, hear us. Lord, be with us as we try to constantly remove from our lives prune from our lives all that is not pleasing to you all wrong attitudes relationships ways of behavior ways of speaking lord hear us lord, gracious hear us. if anyone would like to make a prayer i invite you to do so at this time father in the name of jesus we bring to you all those who are sick in our parish all those who are sick in our families i pray especially for paul and saint paul of god that through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the source of all life, you will sustain the Lord, you will sustain the faith, and if it is your will, Lord God, you will bring healing and wholeness to your body. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Pray for all those who celebrate your birthdays this week, for colleagues, for Corey, for Denise, for Isabel, that your God may be mercy, that you will pour out your blessings upon them, that they may be able to thrive in your name. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And I pray for the repose of the souls of Martin and Eldika Guy, rest in peace, for whom this Mass is offered. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Heavenly Father, we place these and all the unspoken prayers of our hearts before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and give us for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. To the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the Sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, 
and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, Clyde Martin our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen to the Father. Amen to the Son. Amen to the Spirit. All three in one. Oh, we remember that we are children of one Heavenly Father, each one a favorite child of God. And so we pray to our Father, the source of life and love, in the prayers that Jesus has himself has taught us to use. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let's just turn to each other and offer a little smile, a little nod, a little wave as a sign of peace. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring us your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And have a blessed rest of the day, everybody. Thank you, I am the way, the king of the victory. I am the truth, Lord of the harmony. I am the light, light of the world to be. Oh, and I hold your hand, my friend. Oh, and I give you strength, my friend. Hosanna, oh, you walk the sea, my friend. We're gonna sail to victory. Sailing, 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 sailing across the river, sailing, sailing, Jesus, sailing, Savior, sailing across the river, sailing. Oh, freedom, brother, freedom, sister, freedom in the life of Jesus. Hosanna, oh, I hold your hand, my friend. Hosanna, oh, I give you strength, my friend. Hosanna, oh, you walk the sea, my friend. We're gonna sail to victory. You shall abide in me. I am the river. You shall be cleansed in me. I am the rock. You shall have life in me. Was I not hold your hand, my friend? Was I not give you strength, my friend? Was I not you walk the sea, my friend? We're gonna sail to victory. Sailing, 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 sailing across the river, sailing. Freedom, brother, freedom, sister, freedom in the
the life of Jesus. Hosanna, I hold your hand, my friend. Hosanna, I give you strength, my friend. Hosanna, you walk the sea, my friend. We're gonna sail to victory. I am your brother, living in flesh with thee. I am your savior, dying on Calvary. I am your God, rising in victory. Hosanna, I hold your hand, my friend. Hosanna, I give you strength, my friend. Hosanna, you walk the sea, my friend. We're gonna sail to victory. Sailing, 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 cross the river, sailing. Sailing, Jesus, sailing. Savior, sailing, cross the river, sailing. Oh, freedom, brother, freedom, sister, freedom in the life of Jesus. Hosanna, I hold your hand, my friend. Hosanna, I give you strength, my friend. Hosanna, you walk the sea, my friend. We're gonna sail to victory. We're gonna sail to victory. We're gonna sail to victory. There's a reason we have been here to serve you for the past 40 years. A reason we have continued to grow. A reason we have continued to celebrate. That reason is you. We have been here to help you plan for your future and here to help you celebrate your achievements. We continue to be here even when the future seems unclear because one thing is certain, you're the reason we care. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. Here in the Diocese of St. George's in Grenada, the faithful are happy to return to our churches, our places of worship, where we share fellowship and participate in the greatest gift Jesus left us, the Holy Eucharist. The coronavirus pandemic kept us away for a long time, but we've reopened the church using the government's recommended guidelines. Everyone is expected to sanitize their hands on entering the church. This must be done at the designated entry where you must register your attendance. The church must supply a list of attendees to the Ministry of Health to enable contact tracing should someone become infected with COVID. Proceed quickly to your seats where the six foot distance must be maintained unless you live in the same household. Keep your mask on at all times. Avoid as far as possible touching surfaces like benches, seats, etc. Unless otherwise advised, the faithful walk in the main aisle to offer their gifts and return via the side aisles. An usher will direct you to prevent unnecessary physical contact. Please remember, there should be no physical contact at the sign of peace. We proceed to the altar to receive the Holy Eucharist. We maintain our physical distance and receive the body of Christ in our left hand. Step aside and using your right hand, remove the right handle of the mask. Place the host in your mouth and replace the handle of the mask. At the end of the mask, please leave with urgency through all available exits and avoid congregating in the aisles and outside the church. Love your neighbor, keep your distance, wear your mask, Wash your hands. <laughs>